500 years ago, Leonardo da Vinci conceived the idea of a vehicle with a screw type thread on a vertical shaft that, if properly shaped and powered, would be able to take off vertically, hover and land. However, it was not until the 20th century when his idea became reality. There are many variations in the design and complexity of modern helicopters. Even though helicopters vary greatly in size and appearance, they share many of the same major components. I like to show you the basic helicopter components on this single seat ultralight experimental helicopter I started building on January 2020. The construction is based on the model Furia, Skylark or CH4 designed originally from Augusto Cizzare in the early years of the 1980s. We start with the landing gear skids. The purpose of the landing gear in an aircraft is to provide a suspension system during ground handling, takeoff and landing. The landing gear also needs to absorb the kinetic energy to the airframe in case of a hard landing. The main frame structure. I built the frame structure with aircraft grade aluminum to minimize the overall weight of the helicopter and added some sort of cabin, mainly for the use of a windscreen and a mechanical protection zone around me. The engine or power plant. In this model it's a two-stroke Rotax 582UL piston engine with 65 horsepower. The main rotor mast. On top of the mast will be the main rotor gearbox, the rotor head and the main rotor blades attached. Inside the mast will be the push-pull tubes for the collective control and the pivoting types wash control system. Attached outside the mast is the location for the push-pull tubes for the cyclic control system. Pilot flight controls. There are three basic types. The first one is called the cyclic control. This control changes the pitch angle of each main rotor blade independently according to its position in the blade rotating cycle controlling the direction of movement of the helicopter. Left-right control input. Forward-aft control input. And combined control input. The next flight control is called the collective. The collective changes the pitch angle of the main rotor blades all at the same time. All the blades change equally and as a result the helicopter increases or decreases its total lift. Here you can see how the collective and cyclic controls are linked together inside the main rotor mast. The third flight controls are the pedals. This control changes the pitch angle of the tail rotor blades to counteract the torque from the main rotor, allowing the helicopter to make 360 degree turns at hover and maintaining a constant heading in flight. The flight control motion from the cyclic and collective controls are translated via a piloting type swash control system. This device has the same function as the swash plate used in most helicopters, but it's mounted hidden inside the main rotor mast. This device translates the pilot control inputs from non-rotating to rotating motion. The rotating motion is translated to the main rotor head and the main rotor blades. 
the pilot seat. I used two millimeter thick aluminum sheet and tubes to reinforce the structure. The total weight of the seat is around 900 grams. The main rotor gearbox. The reduction gear ratio of the gearbox is around 4 to 1. The tail boom. This is the tail boom with the integrated transmission shaft which connects the central gearbox with the tail rotor gearbox. Then we've got the main transmission system. The power of the engine is translated through the engine pulley and freewheel pulley up to the central gearbox and the main rotor transmission shaft to the main rotor gearbox. On top of the helicopter is the main rotor head located. This is a semi-reaching rotor head. This type of rotor head does not have individual flapping or drag hinges but provides for flapping and leg motion. As one blade flaps up, the other blade flaps down. Next are the tail rotor components. Consisting of the tail rotor gearbox, the tail rotor hub assembly, the blade pitch control system, and the tail rotor blades. Moving forward to the cockpit instrument panel. There are just very basic instruments installed yet for the early flight tests. The engine monitoring system, the main rotor RPM, fuel level gauge, and switches for the lights. Last but not least, the main rotor blades. Length of one blade on this model is 2.68 meters and the weight each blade has is 11 kilograms or 24 pounds. I just wonder where are all these bolts coming from? I guess I better go back to work. <laughs>